Hello, my name is Damian. Since the COVID hit everyone, I was lucky enough to stay in paradise, in Koh Tao, Thailand. What I most enjoy doing here while tourism is absent is to visit the beaches of the island that are now practically deserted and look for the wildlife that roams around there. And that's what I want to tell you about, the wildlife I have enjoyed most here, the turtles. Tao means turtle and Thai. Thanks to Kotao Turtles, a local NGO, I learned to identify the turtles one by one. For more than 10 years, the NGO has been collecting information on turtles seen around the island and they keep track of each one of them. This way, they can study the habits of the daros and help to protect these endangered spaces. One of my encounters was with Donatello. I have always seen him eating. He's like a hardcore eating machine. Donatello is an old visitor in Shark Bay, where the coral is quite deteriorating, and that's why these kind of green turtles always visit the bay. After several encounters, I was able to recognize Donatello by the particular spots and patterns on his face. Each turtle has a unique pattern, the shape and number of patterns on each shell and face help to identify each turtle and distinguish them within their spaces. Another way to identify turtles can be by their limbs, and their tails are no exception. Such is the case of Christy, who has a tail almost as long as her flippers. Christy has a particular mark on her left front flipper. We have already made her like this. We don't know if she has a fight with an arrow tartar or with a predator, such as shark, or even humans. The encounter that has marked me the most was the last one, a small turtle, very fast. Then when she saw me, she was a lady scared. When they are very small, they are very scared and try to go unnoticed, but I wanted to get to know it closely. I wanted to know its name, so first I left my camera alone in front of her, so I could have a complete record on once she came out to see. I calmly started to follow. She would come up for air and then go back down again as she kept moving. A turtle resting can spend up to five hours underwater. After swimming with her for a while. I finally got the record that I wanted. I took pictures of her little face, her shell, her flippers, 
and every part of her body. I had never seen her before, and I wanted to report her to know her name. After crossing information, I found out that I had been the first person to see this little dog. I could have not been happy about this encounter. Now I had to think of a name for her, and I had the responsibility to name her for the rest of her life. Maybe she don't know, but it will help to take care of it. Finally, I have a name. She will call Mafalda. Mafalda in Argentina is the name of a woman fighter, free, with strong convictions, and who dreams for a better world, cleaner and full of living nature, where everyone can live freely and happily. Collaborating with the protection of turtles is a fundamental act to preserve our oceans, because turtles are a key link in its balance. I will continue to visit the sea in search of more Mafalas.